I don't recognize the plate, but the frame, mm -hmm. Ignis, oh, that's the guy, fuck, bro, we need to get a picture of him. <laughs> Aj, 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 máme tady kontroverzní díl, ale je to třeba, protože od začátku, co natáčím videa na YouTube, mi každý den někdo napíše, jestli znám nějakou celebritu, jestli jsem nějakou celebritu viděl. A proto tenhle díl věnujeme celebritám a tomu jejich světu, kterému já moc nerozumím. Tímto dílem nás bude provázet můj kamoš Stefan, který je přes den paparaci a večer je to můj trenér jiu-jitsu a je to jeden z nejlepších zápasníků, které znám, který učí spoustu fighterů. A právě proto. Tenhle díl bude zajímavý, protože to není takový klasický týpek, kterého si představujete pod jménem paparaci. Díky Štefanovi se dostaneme na spoustu zajímavých míst, do kterých já jsem ani nevěděl, že existují, protože jsou utajené od toho běžného světa. Takže si plně užijte dnešní video, zapněte si titulky do komentářů, napište, co si o tom myslíte a jdem na to. So guys, this is my friend Stefan right here and we are here today on Paparazzi Hunt. We are gonna explain you how this entire business works. I'm gonna show you guys. He's gonna show us all those secrets about the celebrity life in LA. So how long have you been doing this? Ten years. Ten years. Right. Since that I moved here, I started doing this job. So is it really that all celebrities hate you or some of them will like Actually, to... Actually, they love me. <laughs> Or some of them will actually try to like negotiate with you a better picture for like better angle because I saw some pretty friendly pictures of you and Sylvester Stallone and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, no, no, they're nice. Right? They're nice. If I can get the photo, if I can hide and get the photo, better because mm -hmm. they might do something else. Like, oh, they 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 don't know mm -hmm. we are on them. It's okay. They can maybe see another girl. Oh, that's a different woman and and maybe. They can poke the nose. They can do something <laughs> like that. There is no celebrity. There is no paparazzi here. So that's that's the that's that's the better way to to get the photo. Uh -huh. Hide it. So, and, and then if they see us, and then it's a different story. What's the difference in this scene now with and ten then ten years ago? No, it changed a lot. It yeah. changed a lot. After those, before Instagram and Snapchat, YouTube. It was like they had to buy our stuff because mm -hmm. if you want to know, if you want to see anything about celebrity, you have to see the paparazzi stuff. Mm -hmm. But now, if you want to know what's going on, oh, I want to know about Jessica Alba. Oh, you go on her Instagram and then you can see her own video and own photos and mm -hmm. this and that. Oh, David Beckham, same shit. And everybody else, the same thing. You want to know about them, them Instagram or Snapchat. Mm -hmm. So it kind of made it slow down a little bit the business. How many paparazzi is in LA? A lot? Oh, hundreds. Hundreds. hundreds yeah. And they all work for who? For same company or by Not themselves? The, no. Few people work by themselves. They're all freelancers, mm -hmm. right? It's hard to sell directly because mm -hmm. we don't have much time to sell. Oh, that. Oh yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So if you have someone, sorry, if you have someone can sell your pixels for you better so I get the photo I send to the company for this guy and he sells directly to everybody in the world mm, okay let's say you take a picture how long does it take the, uh, for the picture to get published in some magazine or some news or something or if something. in the break news it goes right away to the web mm -hmm. boom right away but here in USA we have seven magazines weekly mm -hmm. so every every monday they print the magazine and on tuesday morning the magazine comes out, oh, comes out. Oh, so okay. whatever you take during the week they hold they hold until monday and then on monday they print and they set it out have you ever got into fight with any bodyguards or celebrities or something oh they well, they try like physical fight? No physical fight, because every time I have a problem, they see me, they see my ears and everything, they figure out like I'm a fucking <laughs> Jiu Jitsu guy, and I, oh, they, they don't want to fight anymore. Oh, okay, okay. you want to fight? Uh, no, no, never mind, never mind, okay, fine. <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> 
Can you make uh, a decent living out of the paparazzi work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? In LA? In LA, yes. Is there any other any, city you could do the same thing? Like the nice thing in my job mm -hmm. is I can work in everywhere in the world. Mm. Everywhere who has a celebrity, I can work. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got tired from here, I want to live in New York. I can't live in New York. There's a bunch of celebrities. So oh, New York is another, another world for that. No, it's, it's, New York is good too. LA is better than New York, but New York is good. Okay. The difference here, the New York is here, they have to have a car because they, they don't oh, have no true. bus, no no train, nothing. So they have a car. So we need to know the cars. Mm -hmm. And New York is different. They don't have cars. Mm -hmm. They they only drive limo. Mm -hmm. So there is no parking lot there. So it, they they live in a building or they are in a hotel. So they have to, if they if they going out, they have to walk to the limo because mm -hmm. there's no parking lot. So the the paparazzi over there, they stay on the in the curb, in the curb, and then they shoot the celebrity coming out and going to the cars. So they can't hide. But here is a different story. They have a house and everything underground. So they take the car underground, take the celebrity, and then you don't see the celebrity. And then you have to follow, to see where they go, and do all mm -hmm. those. So it's different. It's crazy job. City. Yeah. But if you're in New York, you don't need a car. You just need to know where they are and wait for them and go boom, you, get the, final you spot. get the yeah you get the photo mm, okay it's easier so you do you have some people who will tell you as well like oh hey there's somebody who you might be interested in yeah for example like in our shop come check it out or something like that yeah but it's very very sometimes very yeah. sometimes very i got i got to find them on my own and really hunt the city <laughs> yeah okay That's so true. how big is this let's call it scene in LA I mean all those famous celebrities lives here right so it must be huge no it's it's huge 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 the thing is everybody everybody wants to know what they do mm -hmm. everybody wants to know but they don't like us uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hypocrite but yes they kind of don't like us but they like our job. Uh -huh. So whatever, I do that for the money, here I am. So who is, in your eyes, the highest celebrity in LA? Uh, Kim Kardashian? Kim Car the Kardashians are good, but they are not, oh, oh my God, because they come out every day, you can see them. Mm -hmm. and so who is Instagram. more rare? And so more rare is Jennifer Aniston, mm -hmm. she's big. Ashton Kutcher mm -hmm. and Mila Kunis, they are big. Super hard to find them, super hard to get them. What else? And the Beckhams. Mm, the Beckhams are really good. And he's in the city and I'm looking for him. <laughs> that's the place where to look for them, right? Yeah, that's one of the places they, so, they like. Not in here. South Central, but right here. <laughs> that's very good. That's a skincare salon. And then uh, Lady Gaga. The Kardashians, uh, all the biggest names, they come here to the skincare, so mm -hmm. I have to check them. Look at the cars, look at the plates. Look at the plates, you know their plates? You gotta know all the plates. I, have, I, I, have, I don't have everything here, but almost everything that I see, I put on my phone so I can, I can see. Like here, Sandra Bullock, Fergie, Nicole Kidman, Miley Cyrus, Khloe Kardashian, Brad Pitt. Nicky Hilton. Like the address and stuff? or No, or the address, the but I put on the plates and the cars. Yeah, like, oh. like Britney Spears. I know she has a G-Wagon, she has an Escalade, Range Rover, Maserati, and another G-Wagon. And here I have a photo of the Maserati so I can see better. See? 257. Oh, got it. And that's her. Yeah. What else here? And Reese Witherspoon. Boom. Look how many cars does she have? <laughs> Hundred. Oh, and then a photo of the car. And then Kourtney Kardashian. That's her. And the three? Yeah, that I have. <laughs> oh, she might have, have. Yeah, she might have a new new cars. But that's her newest car, the Range Rover. So 350 CO. Mm -hmm. So yes, I look for this car all the time. So I have everything here. Ashley Green, Oliva Coop, Kendall Jenner, Chris Teagan, 
Caitlyn Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Lana Del Rey, Dakota Johnson, April of Bruce yeah. Willis, Jay Z and Beyonce. That must Jamie be even Fox. in your dreams, dude. Like yeah, all man. those names. <laughs> Bro, this is money. This is money. Everybody wants to know the cars and pla and plates. Uh -huh. So if there would be one letter different on the license plate, you would know that this car is Jessica Alba. Yeah. Holy damn, man. <laughs> I shot Jessica Alba last Sunday buying weed in the store. <laughs> it was a good story. We are here now in Bruno. And here are other paparazzi venku. Bruno! They are already waiting for them. They are here. They are a lot. Stefan told me that here is a bar here. And in the top bar, the paparazzi sit and wait if someone doesn't see you. I don't understand. I'll take it from where. So this is Secret Jiu Jitsu Academy for, for celebrities right yeah, here? Exactly. Which doors? The the the, the Oh yellow those. Door here, oh okay, yeah. I got it. So I come No here, sign, nothing. No sign, nothing. There's a nice BMW but I don't recognize here. But I think here is a chance that some somebody would like to fight with you, right? Yeah. Very Ignatian. Mm, I don't recognize the plate, but the frame, mm -hmm. Ignace, oh, that's the guy, fuck, bro, I need to get a picture of him. <laughs> Sup, Justin? Hey, come on, bro. Hey, man, just a picture. Nice to see you. <laughs> I knew it was him. <laughs> <laughs> this world. What the fuck? <laughs> Justin Thierox, that's Jennifer Aniston's ex-husband. They just divorced. I mean, they didn't divorce yet. They break up. But they're about to divorce. Man, that's a lucky guy then. That's a lucky guy. That's Super lucky, lucky guy. Yeah, we are all jealous to him, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I got it. We got it. We got some action. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cool one, man. That was good. On time. <laughs> that was like perfect timing. He just got out like for like oh, shit. five seconds. Boom. What was the top thing you ever sold? It was Orlando Bloom. At that time, he he was married with Miranda Kerr. She's a she's a big model. She's super beautiful too. They just had a baby at that time. So what happens? I saw him with his ex girlfriend, Kate Bosworth. She's also a big celebrity. Orlando Bloom and Miranda. They just had a baby. Nobody knew it face of the baby and name me just if people knew it they had a baby but nobody knew the name and then I got him talking to his ex-girlfriend and then I didn't know what was the ex-girlfriend so I was far away shooting from my car nobody saw me inside the car and he was on a motorcycle but he had he had a helmet off and then I saw him jump in the motorcycle and then putting his helmet and I had, and then I saw that bro, he was far, like very far. I saw him looking in my eyes, and then I had my sister with me on that day, and I told her, bro, oh, I think she's, I think he saw me, and she, no, it's impossible, you too far. No, I think he saw me. Okay, anyways, I already got the picture. He's talking to another celebrity. I didn't know it was the ex-girlfriend. I didn't know anything. I just knew it. It was two celebrities in the same photo, and I was happy with that. And then boom, I get off, I start driving my car. After five, six blocks, I saw him coming next to me. He was on a motorcycle. Boom. And then he stopped next to me and he said, he asked me, hey, are you a paparazzi, bro? Yes, I am. Hey, can I talk to you? Yeah, for sure. Boom, I stopped the car and and he started crying, crying. <laughs> hey, can you please delete those photos? And she's my ex-girlfriend, if my, current wife see this those pictures she's, she's gonna get pissed off we just had a baby and then I explain him bro I'm a nice guy I don't wanna make money I don't wanna I, I need to make money but I don't wanna make money on you bro I'm cool we can do a deal you and your current wife can give me a nice photo so we pretend we are in the park I got some beautiful picture of, of you guys and I'm happy and then I can delete these photos. Oh nice, nice, of course I can do that. 
And then I asked, how can I trust you? No, 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 we can do that. I'm going to give him my phone number. And then he gave me his phone number. And I called him right away. You know, I'm smart, bro. You're going to give me a phone number? Let me call you. Mm -hmm. I called him. I started ringing. Okay. You're not lying. That's fine. I'm going to delete those photos. And then we set up a, a, a deal. Okay, perfect. Let's do that. Boom. I deleted. And then, fine. All right. Let's, I'm going to trust him. Because I'm not, I'm not a fucking asshole like he is. And then I called him the same day at night. He didn't pick the phone. Oh, motherfucker, don't want to answer the phone. Okay, I'm gonna call him tomorrow. I call him the next day, nothing. But before I call him at night, before everything, I went home. And then, of course, Paparaz, I'm smarter than him. First thing I did is I recovered my memory card. So I took the memory card, put it in my computer, recover. So I recovered all the photos. Then I saved the old photos. Nice. I have the pictures. I have everything. Then I called him. Eh, nothing. Shoot the other day, nothing. And then on the third day, see how nice I was? I wait for three days. I called him and then he picked the phone. You know what? You can do whatever you want to do, man. You don't have the picture anymore. And this and that. And then I told him, okay, fine. That's that's cool. Boom. And then I sold the... the I, I mean, I put it out for sale. It sold everywhere. And plus... This story, I told everybody, you know what? He was crying. He prayed me to delete those photos. Nobody could know. Okay, fine. Boom. I made 20 grand on this on the set. And and the next week, she show up everybody uh, the baby's name. You know what? My baby he called Mac Flying because I give her an honor of my very first boyfriend my my first boyfriend his name is Mac Fly so we decided to give the name as Mac Mac Fly <laughs> and then bah, and then he got fucked up and next and two months later they break up they got divorced mm -hmm. no not my fault but <laughs> he could so you gave him a three chances three chances three days in a row and all you wanted is just one picture just and a, a picture family exactly. photo just agreement just to follow the agreement Damn. And he didn't want it. And Legolas didn't want it. Yeah. Damn. That's good. Made my money. Made 20 grand, bro. 20 grand. 20 grand is 20 grand. That's 20 grand half million grand, yes. Damn. Man, a lot of money. How big is Taylor Swift here? She's the biggest. How biggest much you would get for single photo of her? If I see her now, I got like just her face, thousand bucks. Easy. Boom. Everybody's gonna buy it. And if she Everybody has, wants to know it. And if she has a new boyfriend or some something like if that? If you get the new boy if the new boyfriend, if he's somebody, like of course he's someone, but if he's a celebrity or something, easy fifty grand. Fifty no, grand. Wait, fifty grand. Dude, that's one million check round. That's like entire house payment. Oh, I know, I know. It's it is good money. What it is. The hell? They love her. They love her. So this is the big lens you're gonna that's use? The lens I'm gonna use for now for observing a Jupiter or something <laughs> what the hell it looks like a some, bazooka it looks like bazooka I swear <laughs> bazooka. God. so this is your regular one that's my regular one yeah <laughs> what the hell it must oh. be workout just to hold that oh it's a big workout Holy it's hard when you work on the beach walking with the lens <laughs> all day long <laughs> this is insane I have I have some few special lens I have like three but this this one the quality is the best but it's not it's too far so it's not close enough so I'm gonna I have to use the biggest one which is good too okay you they, have to show me how far you can zoom with that because oh my god they can run away <laughs> they can run away <laughs> they can run away with, with this I think you can see through walls oh look I can shoot I can shoot this good eh? Look, I'm gonna have this one friend. Boom. Look, I'm in the corner there. You kidding me? This this thing and plus you can zoom in. That's the place where they go. And this is all the way over there. And you can shoot it like like that. You see that guy on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. So look. Dude, you can really see it through the walls. Yeah. This is insane. How much this thing cost? Seven grand. Seven Use grand. It. Used seven grand. Yeah. 
It's 12, a brand new. 12 brand new. 12 grand, brand new. Holy shit. Tyba, tak na tohle bych asi nedokázal dělat vlog. Ty kokos. Taková bazuka. Trošku foťák. That's the beauty who lives Demi Lovato, Sofia Rich, uh, what else? Even just Justin Bieber has an condom here. That's big. On this building? On the building, yeah. On the building. Yeah. Alright guys, I have to go. So he's gonna go and pick up some other celebrities. That's it for But now. Thanks bro, that was nice. fucking dope. That was dope, we got some action and you guys can now see how this business works. All right, guys. All right, see you next time.